Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jean Marie and here on my channel, I talk about all things digital planning and you can consider me your digital planning bestie. I help ambitious women budget smarter, plan better and get their shit together digitally. Okay, so we already know what time it is. It is June. Well, not yet. Today is May 31st. I'm being proactive for once and I'm actually planning ahead of time or I'm not ahead of time, but I'm actually on time for once. So I am very proud of myself. Go ahead and give your girl spirit fingers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. So yes, we are going to be planning for the month of June. So my monthly digital planning process goes a little like this. I like to reflect on the previous month. So I'm going to review May just to see what wins I've had and what needs to get carried over to the upcoming month, as well as I am going to check in on my 12 week goals just to see where I'm at because I like to make sure that I take a peek at those very often. Then we'll come in and set June's goals and intentions, add any appointments or events to the monthly spread. Then we'll decorate with a few stickers just to give the spread a vibe. So currently I am in my home focus mode on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to my planning focus mode. And since I did that, now I have all the apps and the widgets that I am going to need to complete my planning routine. So we're going to open up my daily planner and I want to start with May's goal page because I want to see what I was able to accomplish and what I wasn't able to accomplish. So this will help me, you know, complete my review for the month of May. So I'm not sure if I lost the five pounds. I have to go ahead and step on the scale because at one point I did lose like four pounds, but then it's like I gained it back or what? Well, not, not gained it back, but I gained a couple pounds back. So I'm not sure where I'm at right now. I have to weigh myself, but I will definitely check in with you guys with that one. And I did finalize my summer trip. So we are going to New Jersey for a like um two to three day getaway for the summer. And I did increase my income. That was one of my biggest goals for the month of May because May was very busy for me. I did a lot of working in May. So this goal was pretty much accomplished the first two, like first two weeks in May. And if you watched my May plan with me, you might remember that May was my month that I wanted to make my health month where I was going to go ahead and schedule and make sure that I attend any medical, any medical appointments that I still had that were outstanding for 2025. Okay. So as you see, some of the stuff are crossed off. I did um, get some stuff done. I did there, this box right here was things that I wanted to buy and which I did, well, I didn't buy. My husband did give me these things that I wanted for Mother's Day. So I got my coach tote and my coach slides. And so Mother's Day was a pretty good day for me. Okay. And for all the mothers out there who, for all the ladies out there who are mothers as well, happy belated Mother's Day. And let's see. So um, now I can go ahead so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this to my May review page. So I've already added some stuff. I did increase my income, like I said, which was one of my goals. I was very busy this month. I did a lot of doubles. So your girl was moving. Your girl was working. I did schedule and I did attend my eye appointment. So that did get done. Not sure if I, like I said, I'm not sure if I lost five pounds. I have to get on the scale and check that to see where I'm at currently because it's been a struggle losing this weight. I am a girl that was, I was 120 pounds for years. I'm talking about since I was, since I was a teenager all the way up until like my maybe like early thirties, mid thirties. And then I started to put on weight slowly. You know, I started getting just a little, little thick, but as soon as I had my son, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh. And then I breastfed on top of that. So I went from having no titties to having, we'll just leave it there. Okay. So let's see. So I did increase my income. I attended my eye appointment and I finalized. I'm going to make sure that I add that. And I think that might be it for my accomplishments. And this is on the personal side. So this is not even including like my little um, business side, like with my YouTube videos, because I set goals on how many videos and content goals and stuff like that, that I want to do a month. That is in a separate, a totally separate planner. I used to Put it in my personal planner, but I'm doing my best to separate like personal and you know, like my YouTube and stuff like that because I just want to you know create two different worlds almost. Okay, so overall, the month was overall, the month was pretty good. I am satisfied with the month, it was a productive month, it was a abundant month, so I am very 
I am content and I feel very blessed as to how the month went. So I have no quarrels whatsoever. Well, the only quarrel that I might have right now is with Mother Nature because apparently she didn't get the memo. And all this rain, I thought April showers were for May flowers. So me and her, mm, she got some explaining to do. Me and her got to talk. Somebody get her on the phone because she is, um, all this rain got to go. It's, it's, it's messing with my, my, my summer vibes. I know it's not summer yet, but this is the time where it should be starting to get warm. The sun is out and, you know, we switch up, we, you know, we switch up, we, just, we change out that, our wardrobe to the, to the summer dresses and stuff like that. You can't even do that here in Connecticut. It's been raining like every day, like, um, every day. Okay. But that's nonetheless. So, like I said, somebody get her on the phone. Uh, me and her are going to have a conversation. So, let's see. And as I said, yep, so um, May was an abundant month, and I cannot complain. Was, and it was, an, it was a blessed, it was a blessed and prosperous month filled with abundance god showed up and showed out this month he did he 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 was here he was here and we are in i can never complain either because my family and i are walking into a new month we are alive and we are healthy so that is that's enough for me okay so what worked well hmm i don't know why i always struggle with this question okay so a happy memory Let's see. Um, a happy memory. Well, I can actually post a picture about that. So, and yeah, let I me. Mean, I can post a picture about that. Yesterday, me and my husband had a really good morning. Yeah, we had. We spent some nice quality time together, and we had a nice morning. So, that was a, as always, a plus for us. Okay, so that was a happy memory. Any time that I get to spend with him, hopefully, it is the lifetime that we intend for it to be. Is a happy memory. Okay. All right. Lessons learned. So I did learn for the month of May that I am still resilient. So your girl can still get down and do what she got to do when she needs to. So that is definitely what is getting put here. I am. Okay. I am still resil resilient. So now really quick, I'm just going to go ahead and check in on my 12 week goals just to see how, um, how I'm doing with those, where I'm at, will they be accomplished? Will they not be accomplished? So I just want to check in with those real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. So pretty much I am doing pretty, I'm doing pretty good with my 12 week goals. I will give myself that. I am probably not going, I'm going to be transparent. I'm probably not going to accomplish everything. But for the most part, I think I have at least, my score will probably be at least around an 80. And with that, I am, I'm happy with that. So now we're going to go ahead and set June's goals and intentions. I am going to add the same five pounds. I'm not going to go higher because that wouldn't be realistic if I didn't do it in May. I don't think it'll be smart. And I don't want to lower it either because I still want to, I still want it to be sort of a stretch goal for me. So I don't want to make it too easy. So I'm going to keep it at the five pounds. Also, too, I want to get back into doing more DIY projects. That's another passion of mine. I really do enjoy using my hands. Like, I was that girl that used to be at Lowe's that they pretty much knew on a first-name basis. I used to be in there all the time buying, like, materials and tools and stuff like that. I had, like, a paint drill, and then I had my hammer, and I used to just, like, build things, and I enjoyed it. So I really do want to get back into it, especially like my thing is like home decor, like home DIY projects are my thing. So that is going to be one of my goals for June. I, I want to complete at least one DIY project. And then my focus is going to be, I still want to attempt to relearn how to play the piano. So this month I am going to make that a focus. It wasn't for last month. Last month was my income. This month I want to make it a focus to sit down and at least for the month, focus on the layout of the keys on the piano. That is going to be my focus. So I have to make sure 
that every week I add that to my, my weekly spread, carve time out each week to sit down and go downstairs and practice. I've already added my important dates for the month of June. On June 12th, Zion has his kindergarten ceremony. And then a friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, is has graduated with his doctorate, so I'm very proud of him. So I'll be attending his graduation party. And of course, Father's Day. Yes, um, yes, my husband is getting his Apple Watch. I don't know if you watched May's plan with me, or did I even put that in the video where I, you know, told a little story where I had previously bought my husband an Apple Watch. He lost it like a week later. So now here I am again. So yes, so Father's Day. And then the day after Father's Day is my oldest sister's birthday. She is getting old as hell. And let's see, either June 28th or June 29th, my mother-in-law will be arriving from Jamaica. So that is very exciting as well. Can't wait for that. So those are my important dates for the month of June. And actually, I think there is, I'll just add it to my spread. I do believe I have an appointment on the 3rd of June. And then we also have Juneteenth. So let me make sure I add Juneteenth. That's an important day. And I will not bore you with my mundane, like one-off tasks for my to-do list. I will go off camera and do that later and add those um, add those tasks that need to be done. Things to learn, mm, always things to learn. So that this list, this box could be filled all day, every day. And things that I want to buy, I do want some coach hoop earrings that I've seen on the coach outlet website. So I haven't had a nice pair of like gold hoops in a while. So I've seen a pair on the site and I was like, you know, I want those. So but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be um diligent about it. I'm going to, you know, save up for it and do what I gotta do. I'm not just gonna go ahead and splurge and make a spontaneous purchase. I'm trying my best to be very disciplined. Before I am done with this page, I want to make sure that I add in a monthly scripture. So this scripture that really talks to me every time I hear it, it just warms my soul. This month I commit to trusting in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Amen. And it is Proverbs chapter three, verses five through six. Places to go, the damn dentist, since I didn't make it to the dentist last month, but I did go to my eye appointment. We are done with the June goals and intentions for the month as well as the important dates so now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to my monthly spread and i'm just going to you know lay it all out on the monthly spread all my events and all my appointments and stuff like that so i can just have a grandiose image of what my month is going to look like i do have an appointment on the third i thought i did oh yeah my son also has two field trips on the fourth and the fifth Okay. And then also too, for June, on June 9th is WWDC 25, the Apple conference. So I can't wait for that to see what is new and what will be coming. And then my son is kindergarten graduation. And like I said, my mother-in-law is coming either on the 28th or the 29th of June. So I have to also, I want to do something special for that weekend as well. What I'm going to also do is I have to check in on my Google calendar. I have a Google family calendar that I have two. I actually have one like business one and then I also have like a personal one that is a family one that my husband inputs all his work days. I input my work days and my appointments. He puts his appointments and also anything that pertains to Zion. So we are all pretty much on the same page and cohesive. So he can't go picking up a shift when I'm already working. He has to make sure that he checks in with that family calendar first. So I'm just going to review that and see what is up there for the month of June that isn't already on my calendar. This is what we're working with. June is going to be more of a laid back month compared to what May was. Okay, so I pretty much went ahead and just um, cleared out the June spread since everything is already referenced in my Google Calendar that I have off to the side here on my other iPad. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and just add the events back, but I'm gonna do it in text because I just wanted to clean up the spread a little bit. I'm also going to go ahead and add all my shifts. I don't have too many for the month yet. So I still am waiting for the schedule to come out. And I already have my paydays listed here. Some weeks is actually every week, depending on if I do the school nursing. I will get paid every week for that. So, okay, so these are all my events and appointments and stuff for the month of June so far. As we all know, things always arise. So if anything does come up, something has to get canceled, something else has to get added, we adjust and we pivot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get my digital stickers and go ahead and give my spread a little vibe. I am learning how to create AI generated digital stickers. So I did create some for the month of June. 
that I will be offering as a freebie. So if you're not on my email list, go ahead and click the link in the description below. It will be for the free weekly digital planner. You go ahead and sign up for that and download that free digital planner that will get you signed up for my email list. And you will short and shortly after that, you will get the link to the Google Drive where you can go ahead and download the free June Summer Vibe stickers digital stickers for your planner. If you're already on my email list, then you would have probably already received the link to the free digital stickers for the month of June. I did record a video the other day basically showing me how I made the sticker sheet, how I did the stickers, like putting the sticker sheet together with the theme for the month of June. So these are the free digital stickers for June. So I'm just going to use some of these and go ahead and decorate my June spread with it and see how it comes out. So if you do like anything on this page or if you just like the theme or the colors, Go ahead and get signed up for that email list, sis, and you'll get the link. Like I said, it's free. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up. I'm going to use the Summer Vibes digital sticker pack to go ahead and decorate my, my June spread. So sit back, listen to some music, and watch me work. Okay, so that is it. That is my June spread. I hope you guys like it. The pop of color, I think it's perfect for summer. So if you like this video and this is your kind of vibe, go ahead and do me a really big favor and hit the like button as well as the subscribe button so you can come back and plan with me again on another day. And don't forget to go ahead and head down to the description box below. Get those free links so you guys can get those free downloads. So as always, stay beautiful and stay organized. Bye.